Hey guys, what's going on? It is Baru and Gathalion here again with the next episode of our first play. Yeah, that. Yeah, and last episode we went through this place. Now we're going to go fight Saturn, who we can clearly take on right now. He's going to be level 50, isn't he? Uh, he is going to be level 50. Okay. I'm immediately regretting this decision. Yeah, and, and none of the headhunter packs are scaling for us. None of them. No. That's what originally what we were going to use to level up. Yeah, but that's not that's, an option. That's that's no longer an option for us. Yeah. yeah. So we have a bit of a drought of Borderlands news. Yeah, right it's now. been kind of uh, dry in terms of content. From both of us, it's mostly just been random shit. Yeah. Hasn't mm. been any sort of anything no new content because frankly there isn't any and i kind of want to talk to you guys about the kind of future of what we're going to be doing because we're not going to be doing borderlands forever uh-uh no awesome. i know awesome driving i uh, thank you guys i know we're looking uh forward to titanfall but really interested in dark souls 2 I'm curious as to how people feel about that game. I don't know if Gathalion's also going to be picking that up. Um, it really depends on how good the multiplayer is integrated, because it was not integrated well into Dark Souls. No, it really wasn't. You just sort of draw on the ground and hope your friend finds you. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't like that, you know. Uh, but Games for Windows Live is going away. Yeah. Oh, that. Is it going? Is it going to use Steamworks though, or its own? I think it's going to be using Steamworks. And is it dedicated servers or host things? Dedicated. Okay. Oh, rabbit. Well, if it uses dedicated servers, then that's good. Um, question is, do we want to get a B or two right now? Ah, uh, you think we should farm for one? I I think we should farm for one, maybe two. Uh, uh, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go get the quest. Let's do it. We'll, we we'll, we'll farm some hunter health quest, and we'll talk to you guys about games we're looking at. Yeah. Now you guys already know we're looking forward to Titanfall or not Titanfall Destiny. It's happening. Yeah. We're gonna have a shit ton of content on that. Uh, on my end, I'm gonna be breaking down all of the guns, all of the mechanics, all of the shit that most people don't understand and want to understand. I'm just going to kill shit and tell dick jokes. Basically, that's what Goth is going to do. Yeah. And then we'll collaborate together and do all sorts of insane shit. Mm -hmm. um, another game on the horizon. Oh, hey, um, we never turned in our... Oh, oh God. I got the sloth. Oh, come on! Well, we're getting the sloth. Damn it. I forgot. What does we this even do? Well, we've got a sloth now. Oh. Yes, sloth. Yeah, no, Ruby. You are literally the worst person. You had yeah, one job, Baru. Well, look, maybe if you had turned it in earlier, I wouldn't have made that mistake. I said, hey, let's go back to Sanctuary, and you said, nah. Maybe... Mistakes were made? Mistakes were made. Okay. Anyway, let's get farming for our beat. Um, yeah, Destiny is going to be great. Uh, I hope. My my one concern with Destiny, though, is the visuals look very last-gen to me. Um, like it, but then again, all we have are still shots. And, well, look at the still shots. Even, I mean, you can tell a bit from a still shot, and this still shot looks last-gen as fuck. So, that doesn't, that doesn't augur well for action shots, and... They haven't really divulged whether or not the still shots are from current gen or new gen or whatever gen you want to call it, derp gen. But it's still in beta, or not even in beta yet. Well, mm. I mean, we had we had. I'm not I'm not completely worried about it just yet. I'm I'm pretty worried about the visuals. Well, now we got I mean, we, we have to turn this in for him to respawn, right? Yep. Okay. I mean, I'm not completely worried about it. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, visuals don't make the game. I mean, it definitely helps to have some nice visuals going for it. But in, it's, it's really, does the gameplay work? I mean, Borderlands 2 isn't exactly 
I like the art the, style in Borderlands. Oh no, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not like the most graphically. Well, it's just the the art style in Destiny is very last gen Halo to me. Mm. That could potentially be bad. Yeah, I mean we've seen Halo, and Bungie has shown us Halo before. I don't I don't want to see Halo again. That's just me. That's just how I feel about it. I I, I am big on visuals. Um, especially going into a new generation of hardware because I feel like they should push things a little bit further. You know, I don't I don't want the last gen counterparts to hold back new gen engines because I'm going to play it on PS4, you know. The, the other thing we need to worry about is um, uh, if, if there is uh, co-op play between uh, last gen and new gen systems, will things like frame rate be locked? on the new gen systems. You know what I mean? That that can be a actual uh, problem. Oh, like, we need to save him. we need to actually save and quit, don't we? I think so. Okay. Um yeah, that can be a problem. You know, that can get in the way. I mm, makes me a little bit nervous. You know, performance is a big deal. I would assume that they would make uh PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 play together, but you never know. Never know. If they separate all four of them, then that's just retarded to me. Well, considering there's both uh, PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four are on the PSN, the PSN network, I see no reason for it mm -hmm. to uh, not work. However, right. obviously, you know, Xbox and PS Three aren't going to talk it's, to each it's other. It's happened before. It has happened before. We're oh, we're bringing we're bringing the truck with us. Yeah, we're bringing the truck with us. Okay. Um, it's happened before in Final Fantasy XI. Um, Final Fantasy XI was PC, PS3, PS2. It was everything. Everybody played together and everybody played nice. So, you know, I I wouldn't put it past Bungie to fucking say, hey, you know what? Everybody plays together. Like I feel like that would be monumental if it they could pull it off. It would be monumental, and I would really like to see that. But I, at the same it, time, it just I, hurts. It, it just hurts the game community to have everybody separated. Everybody separated. You but can't I, really... I feel like Microsoft might be too butthurt to let that happen. They are too butthurt. You know, that was like their girlfriend. She's gonna kill me like... Oh. Oh well. Should we just save and quit after we kill her? Yeah, let's just save and quit that. We're not, we're not in hardcore. We don't need to kill everything. Yeah. Uh, so, do you have any concerns about about the destiny? Um, my concern falls around the balance of the game. Now, I know Bungie is pretty good about you know balancing certain broken things. I'm just mm -hmm. I don't want them to balance to the point where it's too bland. But well, looking at a lot of the action shots, they don't seem to really do too much outside of a action skill. Yeah, not yet. Um, and on top of that, you're supposed to be able to bring all your gear with you into PvP. You know, which yeah, that could, could, could be problematic. problematic. Because here's the thing, you can you can level up your guns and your skills individually. So your and your guns get abilities as you level up. So the potential for PvP imbalance is there unless Bungie did a fucking amazing job. You know? Yeah. So. I'm not entirely sure how exactly they're going to handle that. And that's what I'm really worried about. Like, I would like to have some really diverse skill trees that I'm, I'm mm -hmm. hoping Bungie is going to have skill trees. And it's not just sort of your gun is your skill tree. Right. Um, the One of the things is, um, like, look at World of Warcraft. They struggle every patch to, to balance. It's never balanced. There's well, always I mean, you, can, you can never truly have balance, uh -uh. but you can keep it within a point to where it's not just supremely overpowered. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take World of Warcraft for example again, like Death Knights on launch. Very that broken. was just a that was just a broken mess. Um, it, it, balancing between PVE and PVP is very tough, and Bungie will have their hands full. And there's there's going to be a lot of Borderlands players that say, oh well, you don't need the PVP. It's a bungee game. It's going to have PVP. It's gonna. It's in their DNA. They've already said there's going to be a big focus on PVP. 
You're going to be able to bring your weapons in. You're going to be able to farm stuff outside of PvP and then go play with it against other players. That's part of the fun. But hopefully it's not incredibly broken or whatever. Another thing is, like, how diverse is this PvE? Yeah. PvP is pretty, you know, pretty basic. Go in, shoot people. That's pretty much it. I just hope there's a good amount of game modes and not just, you know, standard deathmatch fare. You know, I, yeah. I, I like Conquest and uh, and Capture the Flag a lot, so... Yeah, I, I would think that they would put more game modes in. Um, but it, it'll be interesting to see. I'm very interested in the PvE aspect I always have mm -hmm. been. Because mm -hmm. uh, they said that you're going to be able to do everything solo. Right. Everything. This worries me, and I guess at the same time I like it, but... Yeah, it depends on how they scale everything. It depends on how they scale everything. Oh, B. B? Nice. Yeah, let's see. What's the... What's the... Actually, let's let's get out of the way of the bots first. Yeah, we can just save and quit and then look at it. Um, yeah. yeah, how, how are they going to scale everything between solo and multiplayer? How is it really going to work? Because there's... It's an MMO, you know, it's... I don't, there's so much we don't know about Destiny, and I feel like we're going to find out a lot at at PAX East in March. But... And we're going to find out a lot during the beta. All right, so this is 17,000 capacity, uh, 8 points, oh wow, 8.26 recharge delay, but 28,000 amp. What level is it, 50? 47. 47, cool. All right, it let's won't get... be 50, because we're not 50. Okay. Um, but for comparison... The uh, B has 28,000 amp. My level 46 flat off sniper has 7,000 damage. Perfect. I want one for my kitten. So I can just always heal and be fine. Um, I want one for your kitten. Huh? I want one for your kitten. <laughs> um, uh, outside of Destiny, there's Tom Clancy's The Division. I don't know if you've watched much on this, Baru. I, I have actually been going around looking at different videos for it. It looks like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It really does. It also oh, has we, the... we, 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 we widget. Loot loader. Ah. It's a wee widget. That's what I call them now. Um, Legendary? It... Salt. Salt. Uh, but but yeah, it is. It does look like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Where is he going? Where is he going? Um, it's gonna have a lot of Borderlands esque uh, stuff in it. Like uh, it's funny that all these games are coming out near each other that are a lot like Borderlands um, in their mechanics. Can you hear those uh, outside? Yeah, I hear something. Yeah. Yep, that's a lawnmower. This will be fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Featuring the lawnmower. Featuring, featuring the lawnmower. Um, lawnmower man? La lawnmower man. He's in the internet. Uh, yes. So it has a lot of Borderlands-esque features to it. I saw one video where, it, it first off, it takes place in a post-apocalyptic New York City. Um, Which isn't, like, done before ever. Post-apocalyptic. Well, well post-apocalyptic is done to, done to death, but it's usually like a wasteland. It's not often somewhere familiar. Well, that's not true. Uh, Fallout was in whatever. Yeah. But it, you know, that it, it looks everything looks. You can you can say, oh well, this is obviously New York City. It's not like you know, decades after. It's it's almost immediately following uh, what I assume is the the apocalypse. Oh, cool. Well, he died very quickly. Yeah, just wait till we... Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing I didn't like is that uh, during that little sort of preview that they mm -hmm. had shown was, you know, they go in, they find some loot, and they're like, oh, man, this is awesome. They pick it up and start using it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any stats on the thing. It had stats? It, well, I mean, like, it kind of... That's what I was kind of looking for, a little more in-depth mm -hmm. than... It do the damage. It do the damage. If okay. there's anything I fucking hate in any RPG, it's stats being represented by bars. Okay, was that, it all bar stats? It was all bar stats. That pisses me off to no end because that has no real anything. Yeah. This launcher has 10 bars. This sniper has 10 bars. Oh, well, thank cool. you for telling me the 10 bar damage. Okay. Yeah, that's valid. Um... 
But what I did like is is how um, after they completed it, they got challenged outside by another unit in the world. So it's um, yeah, who wanted the same thing. Yeah, so. the division is also an MMO that's going to have oh, PvP oh, mechanics to it. Immediately joined in. Oops. Hmm. Uh, can you join me? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, cool. Um, I immediately hit the continue. Okay, cool. Cool. But yeah, I mean, I did like the whole like. PvP anywhere, just right here, right now. Yeah, right you got, now. You you picked up something that I want. We're gonna I we're gonna challenge you for it. Hopefully, I, you have a choice on whether or not. You know, I I would assume there's different modes. Yeah, I would assume there are different modes, so it's not like some high level team just yeah grows around. Oh, you want to progress? No. Oh, uh, you you want to continue with the game? That's cute. Yeah, but Give um, you money. visually. Uh, uh, the division. Oh, visually, it's not too bad at all. It, it, well, it's only next gen, or new gen. It's not coming out on Xbox 360 and PS3, from what I understand. But the PC version, I got to talk to some of my buddies at Nvidia, and the PC version is gonna be something special. So, you know, it's it's fully optimized for PC. You're gonna have a lot of bells and whistles. I'm liking that a lot. Yeah. They said the PC version is probably their most um, anticipated game this year. So, so yeah. It's launching at the same time, right? It's launching around. It's probably going to launch fall, unless it gets pushed back, which I, I wouldn't be astonished. No, I mean, like, it's not going to be like, all right, so we're going to release the console version. Oh, no, 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 no. It'll come out at the same time. All right. Because, I mean, I have a PS4 right now, but it's currently serving as a drink holder. Mm -hmm. Because I don't ever use it, right. and I prefer things to stay that way on yeah. PC. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to use the PS4 to play Destiny. And mm -hmm. I'm not hating on consoles. I just prefer mouse and keyboard, and I can't do that on PS4. Right. Your nuke makes it impossible to see the loot. Yeah, but it's a nuke. And, and a nuke. It do the nuke damage. Mm -hmm. It do the damage. Do the damage. It do the damage. Um, but the division looks good. Uh, it's supposed to have some interesting uh, second screen mechanics to it. Um, apparently, someone can actually take uh, control of a drone with like a tablet or with a shield. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I might actually have to get a shield. Mm hmm. Shield too. Yeah, shield. Shield. What else? Fucking. We're, I'm kind of like moving backwards now. Um, is there anything really in the summertime that we know about? Well, there's nothing in the sun. Well, yeah. Brawl, uh, brawl, or Des not brawl. Destiny. Uh, um, Smash Brothers. If you get, if well, you end up getting a Wii U, it's coming out. I will be getting a Wii U, but that's not really like that's gonna be like just something to fuck around with. Smash Brothers is gonna be great. It's Smash Brothers. Oh, I'm not saying it's gonna be bad. I'm just saying that's just something to really fuck around with. That's not something we're not gonna be like. So we're gonna be doing this for the next five months. Right. Well, I'm. Yeah. I think. I think uh, Smash will go over really well on Twitch, personally. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Especially uh, if they go back to, um, which came, uh, Melee came before Brawl, right? Melee was on GameCube? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, so if they go back to, like, the GameCube mechanics, because apparently the GameCube version was the most competitive Smash Brothers, um, and the Wii version was kind of just, eh. So I think, I, I hope that they're trying to focus more on making it competitive again, or or more like the GameCube version, because that's uh, the Best fan Best park job ever. That's really nice. I, yes. I, I liked it when you parked it on the elevator. That was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that again. Mm -mm. But hey, I got stuck in a tree. Perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna play Smash Brothers. Hopefully yeah. they put Lucario back in it. I want Fox. Fox. Good old Fox. Good old Fox. There you go. I did the nuke earlier, so now you can see. Ain't shit. I see. We have nothing. We have salt. Yes, salt. Yes, all. Salt phrase. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I mean, I know there's gonna be the destiny. Oops, I hit continue. God damn it, God. God. Damn it. Yeah, destiny beta is over the summer. Uh, there's no saying whether or not it'll have an NDA on it, though. If it does not have an NDA on it, yeah, things are happening on both of our channels. Yeah, there's gonna be content for days and days. I'm here. You can go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be covering every single aspect of the beta if if they allow for it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there's also another game that me and Goth both recently got into the beta for. However, it does have an NDA on it, so we can't actually say anything. And that's the... It's Wildstar. We can't say anything yeah, about Wildstar. what's going on in the game. We can say we're in the beta, but... Yeah, we can say we're in the beta, but we can't actually say anything about yeah, the well, it, game. Yeah, uh, well, we'll see how Wildstar pans out. I played for about an hour. Yeah, it has potential, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's very, very beta right now. Yes, it's quite beta. Nubby. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Is there anything else? Oh, I hit continue. Is there anything else that we're really uh, kind of looking forward to? I know we, we've already talked about Titanfall. Actually, no, we really haven't talked about Titanfall. We just said we're kind of be playing that. We're going to be playing it. Um, Titanfall, uh, yeah, there's really no single player game to it. You know, it's going to be mostly just multiplayer yeah. um and it's going to be mostly competitive multiplayer which i like um, and i'm not i'm definitely not against competitive competitive multiplayer i just always prefer the pve aspect of most games but mm -hmm. i'm definitely looking forward to titanfall it looks very fast-paced which if i'm going to play a pvp game i want it to be fast-paced yeah yeah me too i think that's why we we like uh smite because it's More. just it's just always something going on Come on, not salt. 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 That light is the brightest. That's worse than my nuke. It is the worst. Ah, we're coming out in March. Uh, there's more shit coming out. We have your, your Dark Souls coming out in March. Yeah, um, Dark Souls 2 coming out in March. And I guess, I mean, we can talk about that for a little bit. Mm hmm. So, uh, God, did you play Dark Souls 1? A little bit. Not a whole lot. Did you finish it? No. Damn it. That's something you need to do. But anyway, uh, I've been looking at through all of the Dark Souls 2 news, and it's going to be... Um, it's going to be a lot more diverse in the combat system. Mm -hmm. They're going to actually have dual wielding not be a piece of shit. You're going to be able to actually dual wield shit. And you're going to have... Like, be able to hold three weapons. Instead of That's two. cool. Yeah. Great. They're having like classes and shit. And them actually mean something. Because in Dark Souls 1, the classes, the only thing they mean is what your starting stats are. Okay. Yeah, that's weak. Yeah. And naturally, it's Dark Souls, you're going to die a lot. You're going to die a lot. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything else that's uh, kind of coming out in the next next couple of months. Man, really if Wall A ever finishes Cube World, I'll be doing content on that, but... I'm sure we both could, but... Yeah, I, I well, the, qu the quest system he's putting in looks pretty pretty intriguing. Um, it, it's, it has potential, maybe. He's putting, he's putting content in the game, <laughs> which it was lacking. Um, I like Cube World a lot. Uh, it just was a blank slate when we were playing it. Yeah. Pretty much. We got our first B, but we don't get a second B. No second B. No second B. This is really cutting into my pizza time. This is cutting into your pizza time. However, I already have pizza. Oh, you do? Oh, well, I I am very particular with pizza. I will only eat pizzeria pizza at a pizzeria. Or if I don't have one of those here. Yeah, there's there's a, a, a pizzeria. One of my childhood friends actually owns it. And um, his dad owned it before him, and he's like, like from Sicily, and like legit. It was so good. So I'm gonna go to that. So for it's lunch actual. Today. It's actual. Actual yeah. pizza. Yeah, it's actual pizza. I just had the cheap stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. I used to eat those uh, Tostinos pizzas all the time. Oh god. You could fold them in half and have a pizza taco. I know you could. And then you have them now, and you're just like, oh god. Also, they're like lava. So, yeah, I don't know how they, why they're always so hot. Uh, just salt. Just salt. Just salt. So much salt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to get a B. You're probably not going to get a B. How many more farms are we going to do before we just give up? And I don't know. B. I don't know. Whole video. 30 minute mark. Okay. We're now at 24.45. The first B was going to be mine anyway. Yeah, well. 
His next legendary was mine. Yeah. Yeah. But then you get a B. Yeah. Then I get next legendary again. Damn it. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to be. No, I want to be because want, the next the next legendary is going to be at the warrior, and it's going to be a fucking mask or a flacker. I would say the mask would not count if it ended up being a mask. It's going to be because that's mask. just bullshit. Yeah. That's not even a weapon. That's just a customization we've already unlocked years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that shows up as a legendary sometimes. I don't either. Because you get one for beating the game. Yeah. I love my powers, by the way. That's what she said. Nope, not doing it. You don't have it? I don't have it. Not oh, doing okay. it. Okay. We've already done it before. The people know. Um, Mario, Mario Kart is 8 is coming out. Now I'm gonna play the fuck out of Mario Kart 8, especially if it has battle mode, dude. I'll I'll stream the fuck out of Mario oh, Kart on, battle mode. Your secret word is what was going to pop up, but we didn't put up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're making you think now. You're thinking. Thinking. I think we're only gonna do a couple more runs. Four more minutes of farms. This is fun though. Otherwise, we move on. Huh? Otherwise, we move on. So Mario Kart 8. That's what uh -huh. you're looking forward to. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Mario Kart 8. I love Mario Kart. Um, they haven't had a really good battle mode since N64, so I'm hoping that they make a good battle mode in this Mario Kart. It's so bright right here. It's so bright. It's so bright for all the salt. Yeah. Yes. I blame your turret. Why? Because your turret is to blame. Okay, well then I won't throw it. No, throw it. It feels left out if you don't throw it. That's fine. I'm not really concerned about its feelings. Why aren't you concerned about its feelings? Because I'm not. Character. I'm just not concerned about it. Oh my god, why is it so important? Right, let They're so important. Oh, well, I got left behind. Well, you didn't drive close enough to me. <laughs> I <laughs> Well... <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. There's yeah. nothing really coming out in February. Oh no, there's nothing coming out in February. Uh, uh, we're supposed we, to have we some, some news. Yeah, we're talking? supposed to have some news soon on Borderlands 2. And the problem is, it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be a Valentine's Head Hunter Pack. It could or... be one of three things, really. Okay, it could be one of three things. The Valentine's Head Hunter Pack. Uh-huh. Which we think they... it's not, though, because we... because IGN actually went to Gearbox. Yeah. Or, which we're hoping for, new gen new version gen. Yeah. of Borderlands 2, which would allow for Season Pass 2. Or, or finally, the worst one. The worst one. Vita version. Vita version, which is, I think, the the most likely announcement. Which is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, I got stuck behind the truck. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll be unfortunate. Uh, a Vita version, I think. Like, st listen, I think just, listen, people with waste. Vitas. I have a Vita, so I'm not being biased. The Vita is a pile of garbage. Um, the streaming between the PS4 and the Vita is really cool. It's very cool, but all right, let's do two more runs and call it a day. All right, two more runs. Two more runs. Um, the the streaming's cool, but the controls are bad. I mean, it's the controls are made for a midget's hands. They're tiny. It is a. And if you have large hands, I've seen the controller. If you have large hands, yeah. Yeah, it's there. It. I mean, and the Vita is underpowered. The Vita is about as powerful as an iPhone 4s graphically. Um, keep in mind, it the PS3 struggles, struggles heavily mm -hmm. to play the game. So we're gonna, so we're gonna put it on a weaker system. Yeah, and there's gonna be people out there gonna be like, the visuals look just as good, and blah blah blah. Um, it's it's 
it's really camera tricks um, on Vita. A lot of games do look really good, but you have to also think how low the resolution is because the resolution isn't even 720p on the Vita. And also, um, they tend to take out a lot of background um, images so they can push more polys on the foreground um, and make things look better. Uh, textures are usually less, yada, yada, yada. Um, long story short, they're going to have a hard time porting Borderlands to the Vita without making it look far Not worse. Not to mention that FOV on that tiny-ass screen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the, the screen is sharp, but, I mean, with the power of the system, they're not going to be able to push, like, a 94 FOV. It's going to be, like, 70-something, like the console version. It may actually be worse. Yeah. Potentially. Potentially. I don't know. And, gonna... and then there's things on the Vita that I don't like. Um, well, here's what you have to look forward to. You know you know how right now you can throw grenades and use your action button? Well, yeah. yeah kiss that goodbye. Um, you're, you're still going to have those controls, but those controls are going to be translated to the rear touchpad. And it is fucking awkward. It is really awkward. Oh, God. Yeah, it's so awkward. Um, I, I play... Uh, um, uh, was that was that? our last run. That was our last run. Sad face. That was our last run. Oh, well. Let's do one more while you can finish your thought. Okay. I, I've played a lot of games streaming um, that translate the shoulder buttons to uh, the rear touchpad, and it does not work well. It's clunky. Your hands don't fit on it correctly. Uh, you, you're not actually pressing a button, so what if you press the wrong quadrant on the screen? Um, you know what also translates to the rear quadrants, Baru? What? Pushing in thumbsticks because you can't push nope. in thumbsticks on a Vita. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. So yep. You're telling me my action skill, my melee, and my grenade are all going to be on the same part. They're going to be on the same thing, but they're going to be put into quadrants on the touchpad. Quadrant nope. one, two, three, and four. And nope. it's bad. It's just nope. bad. Nope. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Nope. So. Nope. Yeah. I'm not. I'm really not looking forward to it. Um, Pile of nope. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna let you guys know how bad it is. And then I'm gonna say, hey, port this, port this to the new Tegra K1 on what I hope will be Shield 2, and you'll, because the Tegra K1 is better than an, an Xbox 360 graphically. Um, so that's that's my final thought. Anyway, so that's what's in the horizon. Fucking, let's let's hope we get the Borderlands news we want, though, after thinking about it, I really think it's gonna be the Vita version. Yeah, it's more than likely gonna be the Vita version, and we're, we're gonna hate all of it. We're gonna hate it, and there's gonna be tons of salt that day. And then Vita owners are gonna be like, yeah, bleh, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm a Vita ver owner too, and this is gonna be poop. You don't, it's not gonna translate well, and I'm sorry. That's all. Yep. Yep. So anyway, guys, we'll uh, see you in the next episode, and we're going to take on Saturn. I got me a B. I didn't get a B. I got a B. Wow. But this is good, because that way, yeah. That way what? <laughs> I'm, basically, I'm basically here to throw my nuke and do very no, little damage. I'm going to go full restoration and full support. Perfect. I don't have restoration right now. Oh, perfect. But I'm going to go full support and be a team player. Team player. He says that often, but it just doesn't, doesn't shine through. Like don't don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and keep it locked mostly every day for our Let's Play Fresh Play. Mostly every day. Yep. See you guys later. See ya.